Let's bring in Alethea Young, Cantor Fitzgerald's senior biotech analyst. She's got a neutral rating on uh, Biogen. Uh, Alethea, coming into today, what was your percentage expectation that we'd get this positive approval? And, and what does it mean for the stock? I mean, that was 50-50. I thought it was very hard to determine. I mean, the panel was certainly negative and, you know, they had one successful trial and one negative trial. But, you know, I always kind of reiterated to our clients that I felt like, um, you know, the FDA was, would work with Biogen to potentially find a, a way to get this drug approved. And so I think in the past couple of months, that's what's been done is a lot of analysis of the data. And ultimately, they ended up with the accelerated approval, which, you know, they have to now do a confirmatory trial. But, you know, they are relying on the biomarker of um, you know, kind of the um, the amyloid plaques as like a reduction as a real biomarker for, um, you know, efficacy here. And, and so what was priced in, do you think, before today and, and is now? I mean, clearly it's up sharply yeah. on the day, but, but off its highs a bit. I mean, I think it was really about 50-50. When we spoke to a lot of people, most people were really like it's kind of 55, 60%. I mean, as we got closer to the, you know, kind of the approval date of today, I think we all got more and more confident that that would happen because, I mean, if the FDA were going to reject the drug, why wouldn't they reject the drug like two months ago? So I do think as we got closer, you know, the market started pricing in a little bit more confidence. But, I mean, you know, our estimates suggest even the kind of in a relatively conservative way, this drug could sell $8 billion, you know, potentially over the next seven years, you know, on an annual basis because there's a chronic therapy. And I think, you know, looking at the pricing today, that could even still be potentially conservative. So I think the market's now going to try to understand how big this drug could potentially be. I mean, it's clearly one of the biggest approvals in biotech history. Yeah, it's an amazing milestone. Six leading, six leading cause of death in this country is Alzheimer's and never had a drug approved by the FDA for it. Are, are other companies likely to follow suit? Does this ramp innovation in any way and in, in, in other companies we should be watching? Absolutely. I think this really, you know, if Biden had not been approved today, I do think that there would probably be deceleration in, you know, Alzheimer's investment somewhat. I think it would take a breather. I mean, that's what's happened historically when we've had other drugs that haven't gotten approved that had similar mechanisms of action. So I think today opens up the door that there is a pathway of an accelerated approval using this amyloid reduction endpoint as a surrogate. And, and that's huge. And so I do think this really is going to bolster innovation in Alzheimer's. Just finally, what are the expectations on how this is going to be priced? And are they going to see some pushback on this great news in due course because of that? I mean, Biden reported their price in at around $56,000 for a 74 kilogram person. Um, I mean, you know, this drug isn't cheap, the cheapest to make. So, I mean, I, I wasn't particularly surprised. I mean, yeah, I think roughly the estimate's about 6 million people um, that could be eligible, not to mention mild, you know, kind of cognitive impairment, which is even larger. So I, I think it's, it, it's reasonable. I mean, certainly, you know, this is a devastating disease that costs the healthcare system annually per person an incredible amount of money. So I think they priced it for, you know, the benefit that they showed. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.